Hi everybody and welcome to Wine Searcher. Today I thought I'd take a look at a classic uh, California Cabernet Sauvignon. So I've got the, the Silver Oak there, the 2014 to try. And it's worth remembering with Silver Oak that they're actually, they make two wines. They only make two wines. Uh, one is a Napa Valley Cabernet, which is generally seen as their top wine. And then there's this one, the Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. They're both high quality wines, um, but Alexander Valley tends to make wines in a slightly slightly less earthy and rich style, a little more elegant. As a result, this sees slightly less oak. The, so the um, the Napa Valley wine that they make spends its time in 100% new oak. They'll age for, I think it's 18 months, maybe two years, in oak barrels before release. And then there's further, that's two years in, in barrel, then 18 months aging in the cellar in bottle before release. Um, the um, Alexander Valley wine is made in the same way, but half those barrels will be will have been used one year before. So um, there's slightly less oak influence from the in the Alexander Valley wine. Um, the winery was founded in 1972 by Ray Duncan and Justin Meyer. So Ray was uh, an entrepreneur who put the money in and Justin was the winemaker. Um, and they, they actually have two wineries. One, as I say, in the Napa Valley, and that's where the name comes from, uh, Silver Oak, because they're halfway between the town of Oakville and the Silverado Trail. Um, and the other winery in the Alexander Valley, um, which is in Sonoma County on the other side of the Mayacamas Mountains. Um, both places with fantastic um, warm climate, free draining soils, lots of lovely gravelly soils in the, in the best parts of the Ale Alexander Valley, and cooling influences of um, coastal winds and fogs that um, restrain that and, and prevent the grapes from getting too ripe and too full-bodied. Um, this is a wine 2014, it's got a nice little bit of age there, so I, I, I'm hoping this is going to be really quite quite a super wine. Um, you've got a fantastic depth of colour there. It's it's lost most of its purple shade there, um, maybe a little at the rim there, but it's more of a ruby red. Smelling it, gosh the aromas are fantastic. There's a there's an overlying um, vanilla there. This has been aged in American oak barrels, which give more of a van vanilla character, although there are cedary notes as well. There's red and there's black fruit, so you're getting fruits that, that, that go through a spectrum. There's a plumminess, there's also a sort of a very ripe pruney side of things. There's red cherry and black cherry, and then there's the sort of the, the more classic sort of uh, black currant that you'd expect to taste from um, Cabernet Sauvignon, but behind that there's a little bit of sort of sharp red currant aroma as well. So uh, plenty going on there in the aromas, and, and they're very intense, they're coming out of the glass very nicely at me. So to taste it. This is a wine with really quite a good tannic structure that comes in quite early. You've got all that lovely ripe fruit there but it's nicely kept in by, a, um, there's a texture, a velvety texture, the tannins, the fine tannins, but it's a slightly dusty velvet. It, that's coming from the, the pips in the fruit that will have spent time macerating during the fermentation um, to give that body to the wine. But the tannins, as I say, and the fresh acidity allows the fruit to come out from behind the tannins. So first of all, you've got those sort of red currant, red plum notes, and then you've got a sort of a deep licoricey note of darker fruit, um, and that's where you come through with sort of black cherry. There's an overall sort of, um, as I say, prune note there. Um, maybe you're getting a little bit of brambliness. Um, it's medium to full bodied. The finish is actually quite warm. There's a, a quite a, a ripe alcoholic note to it. Um, the uh, strength says on the label is 13.8%, is so essentially 14. Um, there's a warmth to the finish, but the freshness of the acidity allows that um, uh, fruit to continue developing. And it, it finishes with more of a sort of an elegant red fruit. Again, you've got sort of red currant, um, fresh plum, and a sort of a red licorice note there. The flavours are lasting really well. Um, I picked out Silver Oak because um, when we look at, at Wine Searcher, at the uh, searches we get, this is the most searched for of all Sonoma County's wines and certainly of Alexander Valley's wines. Um, it's a very popular wine and given its um, very 
typical California Cabernet style, I can completely see why. So yeah, silver oak I would normally expect to pay somewhere in the region of 70, 80, maybe $90 for a more, more mature um, version of the uh, Alexander Valley wine and probably upwards of 150 for the um, Napa Valley wine. So cheers everybody, bye now.